Okay, so here we are. I'm going to start moving the inept, uh, inept teams. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, uh, Konzak. So, uh, yeah, Kazek. Kazek's going to move up, and he's moving less than his regular walk speed of seven. And he's going to fire three rounds into this uh, lad up here. Uh, he's got a... Uh, Uh, 2020 assault rifle so he can fire three rounds armored piercings five so he does he does get two hits with the armored piercing of five it evens it up and that's two wounds so this guy takes two wounds which uh, puts him in, in jeopardy because he's only got three so Kazek did all, did all right not shooting the next guy coming through is our auto shotgun fellow and that'll mean, uh, yeah, auto shotgun, I believe, is uh, David K. Knight. Yeah, I think it's the K. Knight is the uh, auto shotgun. So the auto shotgun is, uh, is a nasty piece of kit. Uh, it's the, it's the 2020 auto shotgun, so you get, you get three rolls. Armored piercing is six at effective and four at uh, long range. And it uses a two inch template. So don't need the two inch template in this case. But, uh, oh, he gets two hits. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, no, 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 Yeah, I believe it's two wounds per hit. No, 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 just, uh, just one. So he got, he did get one wound. Uh, that's enough to kill this guy because that's, that gives him an accumulated total of three wounds. So this guy's now dead. <coughs> so another blue skull on the, on the greenies. Our next guy will come forward and he's got the saw. So he's our saw operator, five, five, six, This will be uh, lighter, Chris Lights. So Chris Lights with his improved 556, five, he gets five rounds. He's only got an armor piercing of five, but he's got five rounds with it. So he gets uh, four hits, but a one. So that means he's gonna run out of ammunition. So I gotta put a yellow marker on him because he's gonna have to reload. And out of the five hits, he gets a critical and one extra hit. So that's uh, the critical will do two wounds. The other one, the, the single wound, finishes him off. So with some great shooting there by lights, even though he, or lighter, even though he uh, ran out of ammunition, he took that guy out. <clears throat> so the final member of the inept team is our, uh, our sniper, well, our marksman. Uh, Jared Stinger Kindred and of course uh, Stinger's got the the battle rifle so he's going to move forward staying behind a little bit of cover from the from the guardrails it's enough to uh, to give him a little bit of cover these guys on the wharf uh, they are in open so they have no cover at all even though they move slowly there's no cover there so they could be in trouble if uh, if somebody opens fire on them okay I'm moving around the table now because they got to come to the other side. So uh, Jay Buck is going to move seven inches. So he's coming all the way around to here. And he's going to fire into the bunker. Now he's going to have a tough time with this because the bunker's got full hard cover. So Jay Buck didn't move any faster than he had to. And he's definitely inside of effective range for his auto, uh, for his, um, his, uh, assault rifle but he's got a very small target to hit so it's a plus five uh, that he's got a, or he's going against a plus five uh, uh, to the uh, probability of hitting which means he goes from a, his, his shoot skill is three but because of the plus five is the same as having a shoot skill of eight which means he has to get eight nine ten to get a hit so you get three shots he got a ten which is a critical which will half the guy's armor and you got a seven and a six. Now, 
The six is definitely a miss. The seven will be a hit, though, because he gets plus one or, or plus two uh, to his um, his uh, die roll uh, because of the short range or the effective range. Because the weapon is so accurate at that range, gets plus two. That means he actually got two hits. One was a critical. So I'll roll the critical first because that halves the armor. And I got a one, so it hit something. So only one wound on this guy. So uh, just to reiterate, anytime you roll a one in uh, inept, it's bad. You either, like, you'll always miss. Um, most times um, you run out of ammunition, you can't have a catastrophic failure as well. If you're throwing a grenade, you, you, your grenade falls at your feet and blows up. So, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Or it can. You, you have to roll for it and see what the catastrophic failure is. Most times it's out of ammunition. Sometimes it's, uh, it's catastrophic where it'll blow up in your face. Uh, just to add a little bit of flavor and uh, mayhem to the, the whole game. Okay. So that's uh, J-Buck is done. We're going to move uh, this guy. Oop, jeez, if I can get him out of there. He's going to come up here and that's... Uh, that's Phillips, and then uh, Phillips is going to move over here. I won't know Helen yet. And he's going to open fire in the same spot. He's got the same same uh, issue as uh, J Buck had. In this case, he gets an 8 and a 9, though. So he gets two wounds, or two possible wounds. And he gets a 10 and a 2. So the 10 is uh, two wounds. That'll kill this guy. So some good shooting there by... Uh, Mr. Phillips, uh, Shadow, got some good shooting in there, takes out, that's five mercenaries down now, isn't it? Oh, five, yeah, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five mercenaries are out of commission. And Helen's going to run up here, and our, and Dale, or Puddles, uh, so Sutures and Puddles come up as well. Puddles has the, the uh, Striker uh, anti-tank system. So, right now, Inept is done, because we're not using the second team yet. Um, they're only going to come in if there's casualties taken by the first team. Hopefully the first team doesn't uh, take too many casualties. Uh, yeah, so we've moved both our both our, both our subsets. Uh, all eight have moved. We now have uh, only one mercenary left, and he's the auto shotgun guy way back here. And it's now the elite mercenaries' turn. Now the elite mercenaries are mostly out of range and can't fire. However, their sniper is right here, and he's going to try and pick off uh, K lights. Or sorry, light uh, lighter, I should say. Uh, so he's got a sniper rifle, and it's a uh, 50 caliber. He fires and he gets a one. <laughs> Woo! Well, he dodged the bullet on that one. <clears throat> Uh, the one thing I forgot to mention is I was putting, uh, I meant to, I went to put, uh, Jared into Overwatch. So I'm using green for Overwatch. So when that guy fires, Jared can now fire back in return, in response, and he gets a 10. So that halves the armor, and he gets a 9. Jared, what have you got? No, uh, Jared, Jared, Jared. Marksman level one, so he's got the battle rifle. So the battle rifle will cause uh, just the one wound. Um, so you got one wound on the sniper over here, and the sniper has to reload. So now Jared comes out of uh, Overwatch, and the rest of the uh, the rest of the elite uh, snipers are not doing any. Or elite uh, mercenaries aren't doing anything. They're just going to stay where they are. Let's see if our zombies are within 24 inches of any of the inept guys yet. And no, they're not. So 24 inches will roughly, in, in, in rough terms, takes us out to about here to the, uh, for the zombies to react. Now, if I moved one of the snipe, or one of the mercenaries over, the mercenaries could heard the, the zombies across the bridge. You got to be careful though, because if you get if, if you bug a zombie uh, hand to hand or uh, in base contact, even if it's accidental, they could bite you. Not that they're going after you, but they they bite. That's what zombies do. 
So you got to be very careful. The noise, all that kind of stuff is really irrelevant to them. But as soon as some uh, one of the uh, inept fellows um, gets within 24 inches, or if the electronics are shut down for the mercenaries, the mercenaries then would activate the zombies as well, because they would be within 24 inches. Okay, so we're done this turn. Turn one is done. And at that point, I'm going to stop uh, and get ready for turn two and the uh, next filming.